So we have a ton of interesting audits here from crypto.com. So we have to check them out. And plus, we are kind of going up here. We have to analyze the chart to see what's been happening. So I recommend you guys to watch the entire video to understand what is happening to crypto.com and what's going to happen in the future. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get the latest updates about your favorite crypto. Okay, let's go. So here we are, core market cap. The market cap right now for crypto.com is basically at almost $12 billion. The volume here did kind of go down by 6%, but we're still at 100 and 15 million dollars so pretty much we're still doing okay as you can see we're still trying to climb up here and go up so good things are happening to climb back to this high at basically 0 0.48 so pretty soon we should be able to go to there but we're gonna see we're gonna do some analysis but before that i want to talk about the year roundup it says here on the twitter ahead of new beginnings in 2022 join us as we look back at our milestones from 2021 when crypto went mainstream so three times growth in global crypto users market cap crosses 3 trillion my crypto and government corporation balance sheets DeFi nfts grow rapidly gamify metaverse take shape so there you go uh 2021 a banner year of crypto.com so fftb campaign with a stable center becomes crypto.com arena partnership with austin martin and deals with ufc lakers and so many other ones there's 100 plus new features across the crypto.com ecosystem so app now with 250 plus crypto exchange spot margin the virtuous plus mobile app crypto.com visa card in 40 countries including in 40 countries so super cool to see uh, crypto.com nft so 150 plus creators like austin martins and snoop dogs 220 collection uh, loaded in lines so there you go major uh, compliance and security milestones achieved on crypto.com so first global crypto platform to receive virtual financial assets plus electronic money license in europe insurance policy up to 750 million dollars uh SOC 2 compliance via the loaded audit so there you go crypto.com move a blockchain forward crypto.org chain native blockchain launch in march and chronos chain EMV chain for DeFi NFTs and Metaverse in November. So there you go. Pretty cool. This is all just so cool to see. It says here, uh, cap crypto.com capital helping other builders to advance blockchain. So venture arm with 200 million location for investments, accelerating the growth of early stage crypto startups invested in 20 plus startups in 2021. We owe our achievements last year to our dedicated users. Thanks to everyone who support us, supports us. Let's continue advancing crypto in 2022. Check out the recap here on their blog. So yeah, pretty cool things have been happening here to crypto.com in the last year here. A lot of things, of course, the price of the token here did skyrocket if you do remember. So yeah, good things are happening. We got new things happening. We got the loaded lines here, their own Twitter being launched pretty soon here in the next couple of days but also looks like we got a new nft draw from the U ufc at 270 so this is gonna be a huge drop here i do believe so uh, if you are interested do check it out for yourself so yeah this us and canada users exclusive so gift card savings are here gift up to 20 percent back in crow for amc gap old navy and other ones here so there you go pretty cool things are, are happening like i said here to crow they're, they're adding new tokens here to the exchange so that's pretty cool to see but yeah i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited to see what's gonna happen in the future even more here to crypto.com so let's go so this is a chart this is what's been happening here to crow for the last couple of days basically as you can see here we did enter this giant funnel like this levels between basically 0 0.042 and basically if you measure this 0 0.49 almost 50 cents here so what is happening and what's going to happen in the future here to these tokens basically we did break down to the downside and hit this level at 0 0.42 but ever since then we did bounce off and we tried to get past this level but we got heavily rejected here where we even got like three times rejected so that's it's not that good we got three times rejected but ever since then we started to stabilize so maybe the key right now is stabilization so stabilization is something that we, we that we need right now if we want crow to continue to go up later on now why well basically what's happening right now because because bitcoin is stabilizing i think like small cap altcoins are actually uh, like just increasing right now but the large ones are just not having a good time at all so large cryptos are not having a good time at all some of them are so we got uh, fdm here who is actually is exploding but most of them here are not doing so great so if you check out bitcoin here and we look at crow at the same time you can see, still see that 
basically it's pretty much the same here like the chart here is pretty much the same exact same pattern here so bitcoin is still here doing a good job now why am i looking at bitcoin like i said every single time is that uh, bitcoin dominates the market and most of what happens here if bitcoin goes up there's a chance here the crow will go up but if bitcoin goes down then there's a chance that crow also will go down with bitcoin so what is happening right now we got rejected at this level but a really really good thing that's happening is that even if we are kind of destabilized right now we're still making low uh, higher lows so imagine this low here now the next low is higher than this one here so that's still pretty cool to see but the problem is we're making lower highs so this high here and now this high here is getting lower and lower so what's going to happen here well basically it looks like we are forming a new triangle here and we're i think if we just draw this triangle we should be pretty close here to the edge of it like to the end of this triangle so I'm gonna delete all of these because these were some things I did show you guys in the past, like the funnel here where we do, it did in the end stop and break through to, to the top side, which is pretty cool. Now, if we measure this, we have to see what's been happening. So, like I said, pretty much a new triangle here is forming, and yeah, we're pretty close here to the edge, or like to the end of this triangle. Mostly what happens when you see something like this kind of pattern is that we do break to the top side. Now, we're not going to break to the top side if Bitcoin goes down eventually. So even Bitcoin here got rejected. But Bitcoin is basically making the exact same pattern here where we are again in this giant triangle here. And we're trying to break to the top side. So pretty soon we're going to see what's going to happen here. There is a chance that, uh, that we should be able to go up. But if we don't, then we're going to get again rejected here. And probably what's going to happen to Bitcoin is going it's going to go back down here to 39,000. Like almost 40,000 here. But if that happens, that the exact same thing here will happen here to crypto.com where we are going to go back to 0 0.42. So that is a possibility here for crypto.com that we do get rejected. So do remember that. But if we don't, then of course there's a huge chance here that we should be able to go up. Now, how much can we go up? If we take our Fibonacci, if we place from here to here and actually see the next level is about uh, 0 0.52, so 52 cents here. So can we reach 52? Well, yes, if we do break to the top side of this triangle here. But we have to be patient. We have to be patient to see what's going to happen here. So yeah, look at this. This is how much we could be able to increase. That is the possibility here. That is the possibility here that could happen here to this token. But we're going to see, like I said, if Bitcoin does continue, if it breaks to the top side, then Crow, like I said, has a massive, massive chance here to actually go up also. The biggest problem here is that we are still in that bearish cross. But let's go here to the one day chart to see what's happening here. Not the one day chart, I want to see actually the, the one hour chart. So the one hour chart, did we make that bullish cross? Well, kind of. We are in that bullish cross. It does look pretty much okay. Yeah, this looked like uh, a head and shoulders here reversed. So this is why we did go up in the end. But yeah, still the pattern here is show, showing that we are in this triangle here. And pretty soon, a lot of things are going to start to happen. So hopefully we do break to the top side and hopefully we do continue to go up. But we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen here. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. If you did enjoy this video, it means so much to me. If you can like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video.